Hi everyone, back to the Pocket Rocket and uh, ongoing work. I just want to do a quick review on uh, on Boat Buckle. Um, you can go onto BoatBuckle.com and review this fabulous product. I really, really rate these. I can't speak highly enough of them. Uh, I have had them before on a previous trailer uh, and they were really, really fantastic. Made everything so much easier and so much quicker. Let me just talk you through uh, what I've done anyway. I bought these online. They came super quick, uh, within days. They come in a pack of two with all the features, that, uh, all the equipment you need, including the bolts. Um, basically, there's, a, there's two eyes here, um, bolt holes, and you just screw straight to your trailer. If you've got an existing hole, that's fine. Otherwise, you've got a drill. Never too keen on that because I don't like um, violating the zinc and the galvo because uh, you get the rust in and no matter what you do to it, once it's been violated, you've got burr steel and it will rust. Um, anyway, I came up with an interesting solution, I think, which I'll share with you. This is what I'm replacing. So typical, you see these on the ramp all the time. I've had them myself many times. It's a typical old ratchet. Um, in, hooks in the eye there, hooks in that one there, and you, you ratchet it up. And, uh, and you can see these are pretty tatty and uh, yeah, probably seen better days. And the other problem I have is <clears throat> sometimes wrap my knuckles either on the trailer or on the boat itself when I'm tightening them up or if they're being stubborn and sometimes the strap comes loose and um, it causes a few issues so uh, so these have got to go and uh, I'm going to insert the boat buckle okay so when fitting a boat buckle you do need to drill a hole if you're going to screw it to the trailer and uh, and this is a little bit of a problem in fact on this trailer there aren't many places. I could put it here on the angle above the light and I have tested with a jack, it will take the weight uh, and then, then that could come up onto the boat. Um, alternatively, I could put it down here. Now, boat buckle themselves advise that the, the, the buckle be vertical uh, with a downward straight through pull and that makes sense if you think about the distribution of the load and managing the weight. Anyway, I've come up with what I think is a really neat solution and I'm very happy with it because I'm very fortunate here in that I have an eye here that's welded to the trailer and that eye is almost directly below the uh, the eye towing eyes on the boat and it's the same on both sides. So let's have a look with what I came up with and see what you think. Okay, so my solution here is to is to take a marine grade fairly heavy duty clip this is rated uh, and it is strong enough i've checked to um especially with the two of them to hold the boat down don't forget it's only pulling the boat down on the trailer it's not uh, taking the whole weight unless you have a catastrophic accident um, and then there's a hole underneath here so my thinking was if i could um, thread this through the hole on the boat buckle uh, then i can hook this into one eye hook this into the other eye and that means i can remove it pre-launch uh, and uh, the added bonus is I can then stick these in the in the trunk of the car uh, because sometimes people are light fingered and they do incredibly incredible as it may sound they do uh, unscrew these things from trailers believe it or not but uh, now there is another more serious advantage as far as I'm concerned I was never comfortable with these being bolted to the trailer because they get immersed in the salt water and if I'm out on the river for three or four hours or sometimes eight hours you know the the sun here in western australia is absolutely brutal you've immersed this in salt water and then it sits on the ramp for uh, for up to eight hours the webbing and everything else is impregnated with salt i don't think that's good and i'm always concerned that the spring uh, the spring loading mechanism and the retraction uh, components would seize up so i've come up with this alternative solution let's see what you think so here you can see the boat buckle and the clip. Um, that's for one side, and here's the other one upside down. And I've, and I've put this spring clip on. You can see it's a fairly beefy piece, and uh, and it hangs nice and vertically. Now the big plus here for me, of course, is that the all the tension is going vertically up and down through the boat buckle, which is um, what the manufacturer recommends. So I'm going to put this on the boat now and show you tighten it up. Uh, and you can see it work. It's really, really clever device, by the way, for those who haven't seen them. 
you you push that down there and that just releases the webbing and, uh, and then you you check it up again with that like you would a normal ratchet and anyway, let's put it on the boat and I'll show you so here you go um, the boat buckle is on the clip the clip I've put to the towing eye on the back of the boat and then the webbing which pulls in and out when you press these in that's that you click that and give it and now she's locked and you just ratchet it up a couple of times like that and, and that's tight and that's going nowhere I could tighten it up a bit more and it's as really as simple as that and then for release you just push that that comes down unhook that unclip it and we're away I reckon that's pretty neat don't think it could be any more any easier uh, more convenient yeah, give it a tighten up and there she is that's it yeah good solution I reckon now I have tried it I've been out with the boat uh, ran it and um, transport it and they, they didn't move they don't vibrate loose um, all in all great product and uh, and this for me is a pretty elegant solution I'll show you how I fit it to the other side just how easy this is so here we are this is the uh, the towing eye on the boat just put that clip in there like that you can see that drops there push that down that slides up and down that webbing Hook it into there. Click. A couple of pulls. And there she is. And that's it. But there you go. Um, really, I can't add much more. This has just made my life so much easier. Time is everything. When you're keen to get on the water, you get to the boat ramp, you want to unhook the boat and get it off. And, uh, and, and this is just a revelation. No more tangles. No more cracking your knuckles. Um, as for the product, Boat Buckle, go to boatbuckle.com. To be honest, I can't recommend these things highly enough. They're not cheap, but they're really, really worth it. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate your comments.